What is up, Giants Mafia? So, I'm going to make this video before, uh, before the game today. And, uh, uh, so I just wanted to make this video beforehand and sort of talk about what was on my mind here. Scenery change. <laughs> uh, it's my backyard. It's looking pretty, pretty shitty. But, um, anyway, so I wanted to make this video and just talk about something. Um, I noticed that. I was sort of being a bit hypocritical. Um, of course, I haven't done so. I didn't make this statement off of one play, but um, I did make the statement that I'm getting tired of this BS between Odell and Eli and that I wanted them, if they can't get their shit together, to get out. I didn't say cut them. I said this can't. That statement was made in a uh, in a way that says that this can't get put in order. Then they need to go. Um, but the you know on the off chance that anyone of importance would see this video, but I doubt it because I'm a really small YouTube channel. Um, what I really want from these guys, especially Odell, um, when you see the talent that Odell has. Um, by the way, O.C. Yubinora, because I can't pronounce it, everybody knows that. Um, but uh, when you think of the, the greats that have played for this team, um, <clears throat> the, the Lawrence Taylor, even JPP is good, uh, Justin Tuck, Michael Strahan, Mark Bavaro. <laughs> I mean, Victor Cruz is not going to be a Hall of Famer, I don't think, but... He, I mean, he hasn't put up Hall of Fame numbers, but he's 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 good. Uh, Phil Sims, Otis Anderson. When you look at the history of this team and what this team has done, and the type of players that we've had, um, when you see a player like Odell, who you know has that talent, there are certain players that are just good. And then you, there's other ones that you look at and you go, that is something different. That player is something different. Um, sorry. That player is something different. That is something special. Odell's got that special thing that you could never put your finger on. That you don't know what it is. But you know it's special. And Odell has that. And it's just a shame to see all that going to waste because of his temper. That's why I overreacted. But honestly, when you look at Odell, you see that intangible, that thing that nobody has, that Emmanuel Sanders doesn't have, that Terrell Owens didn't have. I think Odell's much better than Terrell. Um, that... You know, you when you look at Odell, you're seeing more of the Michael Irving, the the, the you know the, the uh, Jerry Rice, the, the Randy Moss. You're seeing those. You're not seeing Nelson Aguilar or uh, you know Julio Jones or. You're seeing above them. You're seeing the Jerry Rices. You're seeing the Mike Larkin. You're seeing all that. You know. You're, you're seeing something different. When you're looking at Eli, you're not seeing Nick Foles or... You know, um, who was on our right quarterback? Uh, I don't know. You're, you're not seeing Nick Foles. You're not seeing the, 
the uh, Andy Dalton or nothing like that. You're seeing the Drew Bledsoe, the Troy Aikman. You're not seeing a Joe Montana. Joe Montana was fucking great. Um, but when they have something different, you can point out. You can't look at what it is. And it's just a shame to see that talent go to waste because of fighting. Um, and especially in a fan base like this. When you're in New York, everything. Does anybody not remember how Eli got treated his first couple of years? New York is a tough team and a tough fan base to make it in. But once you gain the approval of that fan base, man, we stand behind you. For the first couple of years, we trashed Eli. And Eli sat there and said, okay, I'm going to show you motherfuckers. And he did. <laughs> he showed us. He showed us two Super Bowl rings and the MVP of both of them. The point is, is this is a tough team to gain your spot on. New York is rough, in, you know, especially with our Giants. This is a tough fan base to gain the approval of. Do you realize that Eli has been with us since 2004 is when he got drafted? I got my first Eli Manning jersey like a year ago or something. Maybe not even that long ago. It's a tough, tough fan base. And, and I would just hate to see all this get to Odell. Because Odell is something different. Um, I like Victor Cruz better because Victor Cruz is more consistent. But Odell's got more skill. And I'm liking Sterling Shepard so far, too. Um... But Shepard is going to see that, and that's another thing. What about the rookie Shepard? What about him? I mean, who's he going to follow? Is he going to follow Victor Cruz and deal with the tough situations? Or is he going to follow Odell Beckham and act like him right now? Odell's got to set a, a role. He's got to know what his role is. He's got to set a standard for the for the for Shepard that's under him. That's That's... A rookie that's going to be learning from Odell. Odell's in his third year. I just hate to see talent go to waste. And uh, I think today is going to be that breakout day. Um, perfect timing for it. Ravens cannot handle Odell. There's no way they're going to handle our receiving court. Um, I don't think they can. I think today is the day where we put some points up and we start seriously making a run. And I think we can do it. But it's not going to happen with division. It's not going to happen with teammates fighting. We'll see what happens. Game is in less than two hours, and I'm ready for it. Giants Mafia, bitch. And I'm out.